All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And I want to do a quick lesson on, and this is mainly more towards you younger brothers that's in the faith, you brothers that still go to school, you brothers that's in the workforce, um, and also you brothers that even still live at home with the appearance or grandparents or a relative, okay? Whatever the case may be. But, um, you know, this is uh, from my nephew, all right? And um, he mentioned how it was basically hard for him to stay in the spirit, you know, dealing with um, his, uh, his, I'll say his surroundings, all right? And, it, and his is school. So he says, uh, you know, more of an, this is the middle of the conversation. It says, yeah, I know, man. But it's like the school I go to, it's so hard to stay in the spirit. What they all talk about is weed and fighting and gangbanging. Like it's vexing, vexing as hell, bro. And I uh, messaged back. I said, well, this is the world we live in, okay? Meaning this world is what? Full of unrighteousness, okay? Full of perversity, perversity, full of wickedness. And we see the people are moving in the way of what? The things that I just mentioned, okay? They are going... In the opposite direction as we are going and as we're as we are fighting for righteousness okay as we are moving in the spirit the world is moving in the way of what carnality okay in the way of wickedness that's why the scriptures say um let's get it i'll pull it up on my other phone it's the book of uh exodus The book of Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, it says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to wrestle judgment. So point is in the first, it says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay, so majority of this world, see, they are going to the broad of way, the leader to destruction. And as we continue on this, our path, Right. The path of righteousness, this path of faith, you know, um, being in the spirit, being kingdom minded. OK, a bearing a cross, especially if you come into this and uh, you're doing a, you're uh, doing this work. OK. If you consider yourself a prophet. Right. You are. We are fault. Even believers as well. We are following what the straight gate. We see the rest of the world is following the broader way, which you lead to destruction. OK. And even though they are going on this path we are not to follow this path we are not to veer off of our path all right so i mentioned i said well this is the world we live in right which is the truth um so going to book of second peter chapter 2 verse 7 okay it says and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked so when you go into our forefather lot as the scripture says as things were written aforetime were written for our learning in the book of Romans chapter 15. Okay. So you start to understand the scriptures of what a lot of our forefathers were going through. All right. So namely a uh, lot in this situation. Right. He was what? He was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And this goes more than to just uh, people, what people speak, but this goes into their customs. This goes into their mannerisms. So as you hear these people speak of these different things of wickedness, right? You have to still remain in the spirit, okay? Because these things are all around you. It ain't like you can just, you know, run off the grid and isolate yourself from these people. No, you still got to be around these people. If you have parents, right, that don't believe in what you believe, then what are the things you think you still want to deal with? They may, and you're a young man, okay? Say if you don't even have a job yet. They're still going to be buying unclean food. You just don't eat that unclean food. They're going to be celebrating particular holidays. You don't celebrate these particular festivities that they do. You see what I'm saying? Even if you got friends in so-called, right? So-called friends in the world. They may do things. You just don't partake in it. You, you don't be in an agreement of the thing that they talk about. You don't even join in in their convo. You shouldn't. If you're in the spirit, you, you believe you're a man of the Lord, you're a believer. Well, you wouldn't even be in agreement with these people, you know? 
And guess what? Surely it would or it should vex you. Okay, that they talk about these different things um, of wickedness, right? So it says, uh, back in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 7, it says, And deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of wicked. He was vexed with the things that he was seeing, just as we are vexed with the things that we are seeing and hearing. Right? <clears throat> verse 8 says, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So, yes, it's going to be a vexing, right? You're going to deal with a lot of things around you that's going to be vexing because, look, the uh, the way of this world, they don't have the spirit of truth, okay? A lot of these people have the spirit of carnality. They have the spirit of Satan on them, you know? But I wanted to get... um. Before I get that point, because the scriptures talk about the spirit of the truth, whom the world cannot receive, right? So, you know, a lot of these things came more of idol, you know? Let's go to, uh, uh, so yeah, let's go to first, the book of First Peter chapter 4, verse 4 says, wherein they think it's strange that you run not with them. To the same access of riot Speaking evil of you Right so although because since you're not Joining in their Wicked conversations since you're not partaking In their festivities they think It's strange oh he think He better than us why he don't eat the Things we eat why why don't he celebrate The things we celebrate Right what's his problem He's strange He weird he different Right because ultimately these people with these, these uh, uh, wicked spirits, they want you to be joined in with them to be a, a wicked spirit as well. All right. I want to get this. I mentioned it. The spirit of truth. Yeah, because, you know, this, this is something you're going to have to deal with. And you're going to have to learn that in the world we live in today until we... Lord willing be delivered out of this place. These things are going to be all around you and things are going to get or things are going to go more for the worse. The turn for the worse. As you can see, the world that we we living in today There's all these different uh, laws is being passed for this. This Moism and this this alphabet gang type of situation. But who's going to get afflicted more? The man. Right. The, 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 the men, especially the true men of the Lord who are standing up for what? Righteousness Okay Going down to who? whom The believers So let's get this Let's go to the book of uh, John Chapter 16 verse 13 It says um, Slakia Yep yep It's the book of John Slakia The book of John chapter 14 Verse 17 I think I'm going to start at 16 Okay Let me see, no, slock you. <clears throat> 14 verse, boom. Yep, so it's the book of John chapter 14 verse 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And how, you, how will you show forth your love? Well, you're going to do it through what? Action. By what? Keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, of course. And I will pray the Father... And he should give you another comforter and that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it seeth him not, neither know of him, but ye have, but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Okay, so this spirit of truth whom the Lord have blessed you with, right? Whom the Lord have, Yahweh Bashim Rashad have blessed you with this truth. This wisdom, this knowledge and understanding, the world can't receive it. You see? So, you know, I mean, I mean, that's really the point. Um, I mean, I could, can't think of nothing else at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I want to read this. I said, although it vexes your spirit, you shouldn't let it. Let's read it again. Although it vexes your spirit, you shouldn't let it affect 
your spirit. Okay, so all of these things are going to vex you. Okay, don't let it affect you. Don't let it affect you to the point of, you know, you you uh you you start to lose faith or you you uh you get in a mind frame of you know wanting to look back or partake in these things that they may be doing. Okay, or don't even let it affect you to the point where you make irrational decisions, right? Because you'll have Jake that may be young and hot in the spirit and just say. You niggas is wicked. Lord going to judge you. Then you're going to get expelled from school. You're going to get uh, you're gonna get fired from your job. You're going to get kicked out of your parents' home. You see? These things may take place. Okay? So you got you to gotta keep, you know, you want you want to have uh, temperance. You want to have self-control, you know, when these uh, situations arise. And these things are going to be on a more higher level, too, on a more large scale. Okay? You got to think with all these different laws had just been passed going back into, you know, the, the alphabet gang and, you know, the Moism and all that. You're going to literally see these different people do sexual acts in front of you. And there's nothing you'll be able to do about it, but walk away or turn around and things like that. That's it. That's all you're going to be able to do. But let's say if you're in a place where you ain't got to get a transit, you got to get on the subway or you got to catch the bus. But they're allowed to make out and, you know, do all this. This man is right in front of you. And you got to what? Spiritually turn the other cheek. You see? So these things are going to be more rapid. Okay. As time goes on. Okay. Because as, as. Esau's going, I, 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 he's about to be at the end of his rulership. He still continued to what? Pushing more evil and darkness. Okay, so these things that's going on around you, hey, don't let it affect your spirit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's vexing. I know it's vexing. You know, we all be vexed because we tired of this shit. That's why we want this place destroyed. But I want to end off with this because you want to also uh, uh, remember that too, man. These people got a, a heavy judgment coming to them. You know, even though they think they're getting away with this this, this BS that they're doing now. No, nah, these people are going to be judged harshly. Okay? So let's go to the book of Ezekiel 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? So a true man and the Lord are going, to, are going to be doing what? They're going to be sighing and crying at the abominations that are going to be done in the midst. You see, they're going to be vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. They're going to be crying out to you, how about you, shot? Like, please, can you deliver us? Destroy this place, Lord. You know? And to the others, he said, in my, and this is uh, going, this is uh, speaking to the angels, right? So it says, uh, the angels, it says, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst of and, he, and to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. So this mark goes uh, in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, in the sixth verse, it's the wall, meaning exemption. Um, from judgment, okay? And that's what we hope to get. All right, the exemption from judgment. But everybody else, the angels, the other angels were told what? Not to pity, not to spare them, but utterly destroy them. And this is what these people are about to receive for their ill will, for their wicked works, actions. Okay? And the things that they have done to the men of the Lord. Okay? So, you know, I mean... Yeah, bro, just stay locked in the spirit, okay? Try to block block them out as the best you could. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, don't don't uh you know, uh don't let them uh, affect you. You know, where has you all discombobulated? You know what I'm saying? Now, when you got different conversations like Jake may talk about sports, you, you cool, you can talk about sports, you can talk about basketball and football and you know, different things here and there, but when they start to Go into these these unlawful deed type of conversations. Well, you just don't even you don't even partake in it. You, you know, you just 
You know, you, you keep to yourself with it, you know. They ask you, well, what's your opinion? Say, nah, I ain't, I ain't got no opinion, you know what I'm saying? You know, leave me out of this convo type of thing, you know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, Lord willing, I hope this quick lesson was edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.